Hi guys, what's up? So today I'm going to try some bunch of new affordable makeup that I have purchased and I have tested out this beautiful lipstick. I have tested out this uh, crayon, uh, this kajal, this golden kajal which is just 50 rupees when I bought it. Okay, I have tested out this liquid uh, uh, contour and then I have tested out this uh, eye test dazzler bronzer and uh, so and I have also tested out this palette. So yeah, it's not a full face first impression but I have quite a good amount of products that I have tested out so that I can give you my honest thoughts about it and yeah if you want to know my thoughts on these uh, affordable makeup uh, keep on watching. Before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, hi, this is Anshu. I create content on beauty, makeup, skincare, fashion, hair care, anything related to beauty, you will find out this is channel. And I create content around affordable makeup too. They should be from good brands. So yeah, I create content around beauty, makeup, fashion, skincare, and that too should be affordable. I do project planning, shop my stash, and I try out a new makeup also. I do a bunch of product recommendations. So if anything of that sort interests you, please consider subscribing. Like this video, share my videos with friends and family. Now without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, I have already done my base. I have just used the Swiss Beauty Concealer and my Mars Take a Glow Dewy Primer. And let's just dive into the things which I have to test out. It's not a full face of new makeup, uh, but uh, I have some, I have actually tried, uh, I have done one uh, first impressions, but uh, I was not able to try everything in that video. So I thought of making part two. So yeah, this is the beautiful um, contour. So this is the inside, uh, you know, uh, concealer in uh, a very deep shade uh, it works perfectly as a bronzer on me so yeah i'm going to just use it and uh it's it's very pretty i have uh, used it uh, but uh, i'm still testing it out and yeah today i like it more because i was careful i didn't you know just took a lot and see it is so easily to it's so easy to blend this one to be honest it seconds it just blends into my skin the only trick is if you are around my skin tone be very careful take a uh, less okay uh, so it can be a very pretty bronzer for uh, somebody uh, who has um, a little bit deeper complexion than me like maybe a one shade two shade darker than me on me i have to be a little too careful otherwise it looks like a lot so yeah it's very easy to blend because it's a concealer and that's why i love using concealer and i really appreciate if a brand have a darker concealer that i can use as contour so uh, yeah i'm not going to do nose contouring the last time i tried it was looking very weird trust me so yeah this is the bronzer is looking so natural wow it's, it's very it's looking very nice okay so done with uh, cream blush and highlighter now so now moving on to this this is the itex dazzler um compact and it is a very dark shade and it's broken as usual if i will order something from amazon it's it has to be broken especially my makeup okay so i have repressed it but still it is i i don't know i, I failed at repressing i'm not that good at repressing it's a very uh, dark shade of compact let me just show you so i will see it's very deep uh, so i have to be a little too careful otherwise it's a very pretty bronzer on me so uh, yeah i test dazzler you will find a very deep compacts and uh, foundation so if you are a person mm, uh, you know a uh, who struggles to find you know foundation concealer compact in uh, regular regular brands like lacme maybelline you can try dazzler they have some pretty amazing shade range and it smells chocolate i love it so only try it if you are into you know fragrance makeup i like if a makeup is like cute fragrance like coffee fragrance chocolate fragrance i love it so you have to be uh, so if you are around my skin tone be very careful with both of the products so they are a little too deep as a you know bronzer so you have to be just a tad bit careful otherwise they are pretty pretty damn good Okay, I'm going to take this beautiful uh, fluffy angle blush and I'm going to uh, brush and I'm going to uh, slightly uh, contour my nose. I have to be very careful. Sometimes nose contour really goes wrong when I do this. So, especially with deeper um, shades. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to fix it. So, it's a little better but that's why. Uh, for nose contouring, I prefer products which are less pigmented. Otherwise, they can look very, you know weird and it's not looking that cute uh, as a bronzer i love it as a contour i have to think okay so this is uh, the any lady blush palette i literally i don't know why i never use this on my channel and that's why uh, for the very first time i'm using this on my channel and literally my all the brushes are dirty so yeah i'm struggling here so uh, which shade uh, which shade which match all of these will match right <laughs> so i think i will go for the pinky nude and these are so pigmented i have to be very careful uh in winters i'm preferring blush uh, blush here okay 
Mm, and you guys know I always use a cream blush than a powder blush. So yeah, this is a placement I'm preferring in winters. In summers, you know how much blush I apply all over my face, <laughs> all over my cheeks. Uh, lately, uh, just on the highest point of my cheeks and it just carve out my cheeks and this is very pretty blush palette it's just that i never used this so it's kind of first impression uh, although it's not a new product in my stash i love it it's so cute okay and it's very pigmented you can do your eyeshadows with it and for eyeshadows we have uh, so many things to test out how, how will i do it maybe in you know separate videos i will do it okay so yeah now just let's just move on to i love the cream highlighter don't want to put too much highlighter uh, so yeah let's just uh, i will do my eyebrows also off camera and i will be back Okay, uh, I tried filling them uh, less and I don't know because of COVID I'm not going out for you know doing my brows. I just do it a little bit at home. So I don't know. Let's just leave them. Okay, especially this side. <laughs> Let's just leave them. Okay, uh, what, like, what we can do. I don't want to go to parlor for especially for threading. Okay, so now I'm going to just uh, move on to the eyeshadow which I'm going to test. And for that I need a transition. So I'm like what to do. Okay, uh, it's been a while since I have done a warm look. I was only, only doing that mauve, purple, burgundies. So yeah, it's a high time I should use this. Okay, do you remember? This is my project pen one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not using it. I don't think so. <laughs> Where is? There is not a single pan. I'm just using this um, uh, like compact shade. It is to set your lid. It's like a compact. I'm not going to do too much uh, because I have a golden... Uh, uh, shadow pencil or kajal whatever they call it and why they i don't know why they call their makeup like that it's looking like an eyeshadow pencil okay so i'm going to just take this warm new uh, brown and i'm going to take a little less just taking it on my outer corner just tapping the excess so that you know, it's better to build slowly slowly the pigmentation instead of having too much love this brush i don't know why pona store is not available anymore it's it, this brush is so soft and it's good. I love it. If I want to recommend you guys, if I want to link it, it's not there. So it's it's a bummer. And Una store was really good. I don't know why. I cannot find Una store. Okay, just going to flick it. Wow, it's 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 looking good. Okay, so now we are going to test out this. Um, uh, this is their uh, NY Bay Long Eye Land Deep Intense Coal Pencil. Itna bada cool pencil konsa hota hai and see the shade it's a yellow gold so i thought uh, this will match with this and i can also test out this and i'm going to just use as a uh, i'm thinking about like uh from here to here let's just see what i'm going to do so taking this look at the shade man it is awesome it's a yellow proper yellow gold wow So this is, uh, you know, the shade, very pretty. Wow, look at it. Uh, imagine this with a lehenga. Oh my God, it is. This shade is on fire. I'm like, this This stuff is good. It was 50 rupees. Oh my god. 55 rupees or something. And it's it's an easy way to create cut crease. See how I'm doing it? Uh, even an Anadi like me is making cut crease. Like, it's looking like a very defined cut crease. So, uh, I am impressed. <laughs> what to say? You have to build this up. See how many times I have swiped it. But not bad, you guys, for the price. For the price, it is awesome awesome i love it see it's so pretty so i will do this eye and i will be back so this is um, the kajal i'm so impressed it is uh, like a cheat uh, eyeshadow look i would say you yeah. know it's a very fast way to achieve a cut crease and i have never seen a golden kajal and it is very pretty and it is a very chubby pen pencil so it is more so like you can use this as eyeshadow and i love this as an eyeshadow and this uh, just this kajal and a lehenga would look so pretty see it's a very pretty gold and i really like it i really like it and it's very blendable you have to uh, especially on the lids you have to build it two three times for this pigmentation i'm not going to lie but it is a very good very good quality um you know i would say um, 
and eye shadow pencil as eye shadow pencil i'm loving it I, as a kajal i would never use it uh, especially on my waterline but as a liner or eye shadow i really like it and it's such a, it's a cheat uh, uh, i shadow like uh, in just one minute you can do this cut crease kind of things and uh, it's, it's looking really pretty okay okay i've already lined my lips and i'm going to try this beautiful um, lipstick this is a free lipstick that i got with my purchases and look at it it's so pretty and when i saw this i was instantly reminded it instantly reminded me of whitney hedrick she loves wearing such red so i was like yeah she is such a badass i love her so let's just try this wow So yeah, this is the shade. This is the shade Cranky Yankee, and yeah, I'm like just waiting for it to dry. It says hydrating liquid lipstick, so I don't like liquid lipstick because they are like really drying. And uh, let's just see how this will um, the shade will look once it dries down. And yeah, it's giving me Whitney Hedrick vibe, and I, I don't know, it's not my personality. She's such a badass and cool, and I'm like, but yeah, it's a very very pretty red, and yeah. It's, so it's i think it will be like transfer proof i will give it a minute or so so yeah this is the final look i have yet to try the color essence bronzer um yeah there was, were a lot of products that i tried for the very first time so they were like my first impressions and some of them i recently bought and some were lying into my vanity for testing it out and like yes uh, so let's just talk about them so the very first thing i tried is this insight um concealer which i used as a bronzer wow well the very first time i tried it i was like oh my god it's too deep for me it's going to never work as a bronzer for me but you have uh, if you are around my skin tone you will have to learn how to use it just take like very little okay and it's it just blends automatically i don't know what is the formula it's very good it's very bendable so i'm good i think um I right now I have so many concealers uh, but once i will run out of them i will buy the concealer shade as well because the formula is very good it's very good and yeah i will highly recommend you uh, even if you are some shades darker than me this this will show up on you so if you were find, you know struggling to find a bronzer try this wow it's it's very good and it's 160 rupees or something very good very good i would say it's fantastic and yeah highly recommend you this one definitely i will uh, there is a learning curve if you are somewhere around fair to medium for uh, that but once you get a hang of it it's a very good bronzer i really like it okay uh, the next one i tried is this eye test dazzler but literally this uh, i this one was lying into my vanity because this <laughs> this was again completely shattered when this came into my mail and uh, amazon i don't know why they do this everything comes broken and that's why i'm not i'm trying to avoid amazon altogether uh, so yeah it is still broken after i repressed it i'm so pissed off and it's a very good it smells like chocolate and it's just 200 rupees the packaging i like okay and i don't know why everything from amazon is broken and uh, i will try again to repress it uh, but i literally i'm so tired of repressing should i try it once again i don't know but in order to use this i know i have to repress it I, I will not be able to use it like this as of now so uh, okay coming on to bronzer it is very good it is very good i test dazzler um, i mean it, it really surprises me like the quality and it's very good it's very affordable also just 200 rupees it's a very uh, bulky packaging i would say takes up uh, a lot of space in my vanity also uh, but um, i really like it uh, the blendability is good if you are uh, again around my skin tone be really cautious take a very little very little and see it's you know it's very pretty bronzer on me and it's giving me that chisel effect and i like it and yeah i like this one also and then moving on to blush uh, literally uh, i have this i swatched it i was so impressed and i never used it i don't know why and i was like these are such a bright shade when, when will i use them and i agree these are oranges peaches and but this shade is you know pretty pink which is on a neutral side but it's still warm okay so i know i will use this palette more in summers it's a very summer appropriate palette i would say but it is very pretty and uh, the quality is really good and for 180 rupees you are getting this blush palette it's very pigmented you can use this as eyeshadow uh, for blush uh, for blush take little less and yeah otherwise this is very pigmented and i think uh, because it's uh, quite on the pigmented side this will show up on some deeper complexion as well um yeah so it's a very pretty peachy orangey uh blushes uh, all the four shades are different so i really like that in that price point you are trying you are able to try four shades which is a good thing the blendability is good uh the pigmentation is awesome and it's good next thing i tried is um 
this uh, kajal i'm i'm really impressed by this and this was just 55 rupees and why i bought this i wanted to uh, reach that threshold where you get freebies so of course yeah uh -huh. I, i was like it's 50 rupees let's just throw this in cart that's why and i have never tried a golden kajal and i am very impressed see it's a very pretty uh, yellow gold and it is looking so pretty as eye shadow i will never use this as a kajal but as a eye shadow it's looking very very pretty okay uh, so the freebie <laughs> i am I'm, i'm so impressed uh, this shade uh, i i never buy such shade so it's it's a good way to try you know i i'm glad that i got this not some nude shade because i already have thousands of them and this is a very unique shade which i would have not pers personally purchased it but i got this as a freebie and yeah it it retails for 200 rupees and for 200 rupees i uh, let me just tell you so yeah it's very transfer proof uh, you have to give it 2 minutes and uh, yeah shade is very very pretty it's a very pretty uh, orangey nude uh, orangey uh, red and i like it and especially with this a uh, subtle eye look it's looking very good yeah so yeah not a red which i would buy but i got it as freebie and i'm loving it and this retails for 200 rupees uh, it's a very good liquid lipstick it's very lightweight very lightweight i'm not feeling anything and it's it's a very um, transfer proof lipstick so you can have this uh, with mask also and mm, yeah so this is the shade cranky yankee and uh yeah the comparing this uh, if i have to compare yeah this uh, this is uh, the nyb new liquid lipstick and this one is the older version the difference is that i would say uh, this is a uh, slightly on the moozy texture this is on the runny texture so i hope i'm making any sense then the next thing is uh, obviously the packaging difference i like this pr pretty packaging and then uh, formula of uh, this one is also lightweight but it is a different mousse texture once you will apply you will feel the difference uh, then i have to compare about uh, the dryness this one is not at all dry not at all dry you will never feel that you have applied a liquid lipstick it is very pretty the shade is pretty the formula is good the packaging is good i love this okay and uh, this one uh, the shade is very pretty very unique in my collection uh, formula is it's a lit still drying it's not heavy on the lips uh, it's a very lightweight formula uh, non transfer uh, so it does not transfers okay. but um, it it's it's slightly drying it's not that drying but it is slightly drying i'm able to feel that i have applied a liquid lipstick so that's the difference between these two i will highly recommend you obviously this one so yeah this one is i have to try, try more shades this formula is really good but i'm uh, you know um, i'm not buying that many liquid lipstick or any lipstick for that matter i got these as a freebie so yeah it's a good way to try them and yeah that's pretty much it for this video i have given you my mini review on these uh, which one to buy which one you can pass and if you want a unique shade you can buy this otherwise you can pass it okay if you have such shade also so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like this video if you do please do not forget to like share subscribe and i shall see you in my next one bye